Okay, so this video is going to show you how to make the um, turtle bowl or bubble bowl. So the turtle bowl, the reason it's called that is because it looks like a turtle shell. The bubble bowls are just made with smaller ones. Um, so these were both made with this ball technique and then they have feet on them. This was as well. It's not a functional bowl, but if you wanted to make one of those just to hold things for yourself, you definitely can. This one really shows the turtle shape. Um, so this is turtle bowl bu um, bubble bowl. There are also method, um, the same technique, it's press molding in a slump, where you use the cookie cutter and slab to create um, a bowl like this one, or this one is more smoothed out. They didn't leave the texture. So there are several ways that you can create this um, turtle bowl form. So you need a bisque bowl or that slump mold. Um, they work better inside for a slump, press molded slump mold. So it's pressed in, that's why it's called press molded. So the first thing you need to do is to roll a bunch of balls of plastic soft clay about the same size. So the bubble bowl tends to be a lot of small balls and you wanna um, keep them moist. So keep them in a Ziploc or plastic bag as you're building with these balls of clay. So the way this works is you just start out by putting it into the um, base and pressing down with your thumb a little bit. You don't wanna make it too thin. And then it's really important that you overlap. After you're done overlapping, you smooth each time. So the first couple will move around a little bit, but then once you get more of the clay in there, they'll start to um, attach to themselves really well. So you just start to press mold those balls of clay and make sure you're really smearing that clay because we're not slipping and scoring here. You don't need to for this if you work quickly with really soft plastic clay. Okay, so you're really pressing down, um, but not too thin and really smearing it together and applying pressure but not making it too thin. So you just continue to add your balls of clay. And if you want it to be functional, which is what you want for your empty bowl, you don't want to leave any holes. If you want to create this look on your own, you can do that later. So you just continue. It's okay if it comes out a little thick at first because once it's leather hard, like we did with the tea bowls, you can scoop some of that extra clay away. So you just continue then going up the sides, overlap, smear, overlap, smear. The really nice thing about a turtle bowl is that the turtle bowl can come out of the mold immediately. You don't need to put it by the fan and then you let it firm up to leather hard on its own. So that works that way.
Okay, so now I would want to really smooth this out, take a lot of time to smooth it. Like I said, um, you can go back in and remove some of the weight because this would be a very heavy bowl, but just really smooth it so it's smooth inside, but also so that um, you're moving some of that weight up. So again, with the turtle bowl, it can come right out of the form. Don't fold it over the edge when you're building it, and then it'll come right out and it will look like a turtle. Don't worry if the clay has a little bit different color. We just got some fresh clay and when it fires, it'll be the same. So I ran out of two balls of clay, otherwise that would be finished all the way around. So you can leave the rim of your turtle bowl or bubble bowl like that, or you can smooth it out, which I'll show you in the next video. You can also add feet, which I'll show in the next video. If you're gonna do this method with slab, you would do the same thing. So you would take your slab and you would cut out your cookie cutter shape. You don't wanna use really tiny shapes. And you would cut out several of those shapes. I'm just gonna do two for the video here. Now at this point, you can decide what type of a press molded bowl with the cookie cutter shapes you would wanna use. So if you're gonna do this one, you do have to slip and score them when you overlap because otherwise, since you can't smear them. So you would definitely need to slip and score these pieces together in your form if you wanna do a bowl like that. If you want it to be more smeary like this one, then you would just do that same method where you put those leaves in the form, overlap them, and then start to smear them together. The advantage of doing this is that it's already thinner because you roll a slab and cut out the shapes for that. So again, that's how you guys can create a turtle bowl or a bubble bowl, a few smaller bowl, balls of clay, or a press molded bowl like this one. In the next video, I'll show you how to trim and smooth once it's leather hard and add feet.